everyone, hey everyone, welcome back to this is the uh, 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 oh. oh no, I draw. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Wait, get that treasure. Get that treasure. Get that treasure. Get that treasure. Go, 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 go. Void ring. Go, wow, go get the treasure. Wow, go what a scissor. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. You do that on purpose. You know, I'm kind of glad that uh, enemies, if they like hit you in the back in this game, it doesn't cause like a super. Uh -oh. It doesn't like. Penalize you, right? Like yeah, like in the old games. Oh man. Yeah, just... like oh, it got a sneak attack. You're all stunned. Although at the same time, you get the opportunity if you hit them first. Yeah. See, that actually does still happen in so this game. So you get game. the preemptive strike. You just don't get bummed. It's there. It, it comes in a couple of forms, right? Like you can strike them with your sword, but if you strike them front on, it just initiates the battle. But I think if you hit them from the back, um, which you have to sneak up on them to do. Then it will. They'll start like stunned, and basically you'll get a few hits off of yeah. them. Now, if you know an enemy's weakness, which you can kind of see, like these guys don't have any weaknesses or resistances, um, and neither do those guys. But if they do, and if we use the right element, elemental like uh, on the field kind of attack. So like here, if I hit them with fire, and they're weak to fire, then it will. It'll like show them getting kind of crispy. Before oh, the battle even starts, and I think it deals preemptive damage. I'm, that's I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Hmm. Que interesante. So this door, uh, it's just here. We can't go through. That means to it tells the player, hey, there's no pillar. So and you've already explored every other room in this dungeon. You will be coming back here. Oh, right. Okay. And I'm gonna get these herbs. I guess we should probably start Sake. using those herbs. It was sage. I'm pretty I sure. That. Sage. sage. <laughs> There's the sake herb. <laughs> you eat it and oh, it I makes told you, you drunk. Uh, <coughs> I told you the story of when I was really trying to watch The Last Samurai, right? And my brother kept on messing it up for me. Yeah. Did just yeah. tell you, hey, watch Pocahontas? You've no, seen it? no. I think you said that on the show. I think I'm pretty I did. sure you did. Yeah. Didn't Dropsy? Maybe. I don't know. Finally. Check out Dropsy. I'm not going to put up another <laughs> annotation. I'm not going to do I'm it. I'm just giving you a hard time. Basically, anytime I try to watch that movie, and I was really into it because I love that movie, my brother would walk up and just go, Sucky! And then walk away. <laughs> oh, it's sucky. Oh, it's sucky. So hold on. So we finished the cave. We're going to go back to that cave later. We finished the dungeon. Um, we basically went in there for what... Uh, Lila wanted us to do. Which was the orb. We got the orb and she taught us a few things about being the shepherd. And which she merged with you. Which I think that that quest was actually really, really important. It was. Um, so like, I, I think that was well designed. It delivered a lot of interesting things and especially now that this is the first time being the shepherd, that's essential, right? Like oh, she's yeah. being a good mentor and as the player we're learning a lot about what our expectations and our role is going to be. Yeah. For expectations of the role? Don't yeah, worry. whatever that means. You really do have the utmost faith in him, don't you? Oh shit, we grew up together. What if Miklio turns on you? I would love that. No, you know, brothers at odds. It's it's sort of a classic story, right? Where it's like mm -hmm. you grow up together and, and you care about each other, but you deviate at one point and become mortal enemies. Yeah, something so big happens that changes absolutely everything and suddenly your relationship is taxed. Actually, maybe that could be involved in, in kind of the twist, right? Like, I have yet to see the twist. I know it's going to happen, and if it doesn't happen, I'm going to throw things out the window, namely the computer, but... No, you need that computer. I have high expectations for this game. Computer! Especially the fact that they released this game with Tales of Symphonia, which is probably one of their oh, most successful, successful North American so releases. Good. I feel like they're trying to say, hey, this game is going to have like a similar tone or a similar like level of quality, right? And so far, in terms of writing and art, I haven't been satisfied. No. I think it's the quality is not, it's it's subpar in comparison. Um, but hopefully- The, the twist the, changes it all. Well, yeah, I'm hoping that the writing, the, 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 the plot writing is really what's gonna carry yes. us through. And like, I, I agree with what most reviewers have said about this game. I think the combat system is probably the most fun mm -hmm. about this game. Looks like it, I wouldn't know. And. <laughs> 
<laughs> but like, we can enter combat, we can finish the battle in less than 15 seconds and just keep moving on. It's very fluid. Yeah, it's it very feels, fluid. It feels great. I, I love it. And it's fun too. Like, once you figure it out, um, it becomes a lot more intuitive and then you don't even oh, yeah. need to think about what you're doing. Which also makes this game really good to record. Yeah. They're, they're, it's like, why are they circling around him? What's gonna happen? Like, oh, remember that guy we saved last episode? That's what. So last time I was in a situation like this, I was working at my old job at a movie theater. It was Christmas Eve. No, Christmas Day. And it was the very last movie. I went to go check a bathroom. It needed paper towels. I go and bring paper towels. And there's a whole thing of vomit in the sink. Oh. I start cleaning the vomit when six guys walk into this one stall bathroom and they're all just kind of standing there and then I'm just being nice. I'm like, hey, Merry Christmas, guys, whatever. And they're like, do you like your job here? And I was like, yeah, it's all right. And they don't know what my job is and I'm like, sure. I was tired. Whatever. He was like, I kill people for a living. I was like, ha, 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 you're funny. And then the six guys kind of circled me, and I was like, hey, well, this is great. I'll see you guys later. And I got the fuck out of Dodge. You're serious? This yeah, actually dude, happened? it was awful. Yeah. At your fucking movie theater? Yeah. It's messed up. What? I know, right? Everyone Who does that? I know. I hope it was a joke. I don't know, because I ran the fuck out of there. Yeah, dude. It sounds like they were going to mug you, at yeah, least. Yeah, you know. If, they, if not, like, their weird serial killer group. Yeah, right? Yeah. And now, luckily, that didn't happen to Surrey here. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because they were all like, hey, we love you. Right, you're, you're right awesome. back. Well, we also saved their friend, right? So they had reason to be like, dude, you're great. Yeah, but this is Banner Saga. All of a sudden, you know, it could be your friend one second. Amber Boots. Amber Boots. Actually, Surrey might be able to equip those. Yeah, for everyone out there... Tony just played the Banner Saga. Broke my heart. I, I haven't yet. Broke my heart. Going I'm on my back, second playthrough. Going back already. to the Earthbound conversation of why do I even associate with you guys? No, you can associate with me. I beat Banner Saga. I'm good. Yeah, but you haven't played Earthbound, so. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, I can't, I can't answer that right now. No comment. Son, I am disappointed. Son? Disappoint? Do you not know your memes? <laughs> I dwell on the internet. Such I work doge. In, I work, my day job is I work in, in QA for a CRM firm. I live on the internet. It's all I do. The internet my favorite is, is the doge porn. meme. I love that meme so much. Okay, what are we doing? Return the knife to Alicia. Okay, so we're going back to the... Uh, duh, return the knife to Alicia. Return <laughs> okay. the Oh, by the way, too. so th this is probably worth mentioning because I'm sure a lot of other people watching the series is like, oh, why didn't you do this thing? So if we had gone back when McLeo left and he was like, fine, fuck you, and went off, if we go to the end, he's not there. Oh. I, I, I actually did check in my personal playthrough, and it changes nothing if you go at in kind of you just waste time. Um, so I want to put that out there in case anyone was, was wondering because I wondered when I was playing the game. We'll do everything we can, but I'm afraid we cannot guarantee a recovery. I'm sorry. It's quite all right. I very much appreciate your diligence. And you? Do you consider yourself prepared? Yes. I shall do everything within my power that I can. Your distinctive personality is a point I greatly admire as your teacher, but I am aware that it also tends to drive the chancellors up the wall. Don't push yourself too hard. I'll let you know if anything happens. Yes. Oh, Saray! Oh, uh, hello there. Should I come back later? Not at all. I was just leaving. Oh, you're... I thank you for your help at the festival, Shepherd Saray. I am Maltran, Knight Preceptor and Advisor to the Royal Army of the Kingdom of Highland. What does it mean by Preceptor? I don't know. I'm gonna give you a random tile that sounds cool. Well, it could be just information gatherer. Oh. <coughs> Either that, or she's like... 
the I don't trainer know, an, an overseer. Yeah. yeah, I mean her role seems to be a trainer, right? Like yeah, she's right? the one that the trained overall Alicia. Perception of the night. Totally I, I think it's supposed to be yeah, like she's she's a manager basically, yeah. right? Like she oversees It's kinda like, you know, in like in how like, you know, they can't Walking be called like trash men any, anymore. They're called like waste management employees. It's just a nicer sounding name. <laughs> also That's look true. at Saray's little like <laughs> dur, 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 dur. I can walk. I'm power walking. <laughs> yeah, it's a little silly. Well, we can see more of Sarai power walking next time we play, guys. Well, th- we're about yeah, to enter we in should a, a cutscene, so let's at least wrap up things with Alicia, and then we'll we'll uh, go into the next episode. All right. This is for you. My knife. Did you find this at the ruins near Alicia? Yeah, I figured it was yours. This is an important item that's been handed down in my family for generations. I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you so much. Um, I do apologize, Whoa. but may we get down to the matter at hand? Lady Lila, forgive me. Wait, did you just... I could hear her. I definitely heard Lila's voice. Well, this is quite a surprise. Hello? Residence is growing. It can be a trained behavior, or just super attribute. cool. I like that. I'm glad that that makes it a thing because otherwise, it's just really weird to be like, oh yeah, we all believe that Siri can like hear all these like voices and they're there. Well, that's sort of what separates this world from our world, right? Because if people are like, I talk to angels, we're like, get away from me, <laughs> demon. <laughs> I mean, I generally am like. I think you should get help. <laughs> that's, you should. Yeah. Mental illness. That's not something to be mean about. No, no, no. Don't be mean about mental illness. I'm just saying. I'm, like, I'm out. <laughs> Maybe this is my PSA. You had your PSA earlier, but oh, which one was my PSA? If you know, I don't remember. Yours was about AD, ADD. <laughs> oh yeah, ADD. Wait, guys, guys, guys. May I ask what those might be? To explain fully, I shall need to tell you how this world we live in is structured. In the ancient times, the Seraphim and humans worked together in order to protect their land from the malevolence. The Seraphim and humans worked together? If the vessel they dwelled in was pure of heart and harbored no malevolence, those Seraphim with power would become lords of the land. And through worship by the people, they gain the ability to expand the area of the Blessed Domain, which repels the influence of the Malevolence. The sanctuaries were built to honor the lords of the land and keep the area around the sanctuary safe from Malevolence. However, the sanctuary in this town has neither a lord of the land nor a vessel, let alone anyone who will properly pray to them. Is that why there's so much bad stuff going down around here? Yes, even if the Shepherd purifies the Malevolence, it will be impossible to maintain the land's protection without the blessings of the Lord of the Land. I see. So you wanted to ask Alicia for help in finding a suitable vessel for the Lord of the Land? And should they be found, if those of the Sanctuary would properly worship them both, is that correct? Precisely. Any ideas? As for the Sanctuary, I'm afraid almost all of the pious ones in my country have lost their sense of gratitude towards the Seraphim. No way! However, there is a man named Brunor who has recently ascended to the priesthood. He is a good, sincere man who gave his time to help us prepare for the festival. Would he help? Yes, I believe so. Time is of the essence. I'll head for the sanctuary at once. Well, that was abrupt. But she's not wrong either. We must hurry. Who are you bowing to or curtsying? I think she left something on the table. Oh, is that what that was? I think so. Should we go back to the table? I don't think we can look at you it. You guys consumed raw knife. Oh yeah, yeah, there's... She left a paper on the table. We don't see it now, but in the cutscene she did. Interesting. Um, which I don't even know if I know what that huh. was. Well, in retrospect, I guess we can see what happens next time on GDPG. Uh, see you in the <laughs> Urkavs. 
Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you for watching. Bye. Tomorrow. I look like a super villain. Yeah, as I'm like running into a wall. Okay, bye bye, bye bye guys. Bye. <laughs> bye. That's all I got. I can't really. I, my face is dying. It's killing me too. Shut oh, up. Up top. Up top, punk, Chris, please. Close enough, guys.